Hello everybody, my name is KevGuy378 and welcome back to If My Heart Had Wings. We ended up last time meeting the girl from the supermarket. Or is it actually her? Because she said her sister was the one that was there. Well, thinking how strange it was that there would be such a complete change in a girl whose name I didn't even know, I returned to the road home. It wasn't far from the lake to the dormitory. I didn't have any time to think about much before I got back. Something new. The parts that I had been given by Anchan were in my pocket. As I held them in my hand, I looked up at the clouds slowly floating across the sunset sky. These things are going to fly, aren't they? I meant the glider parts. They would become part of that white aircraft and would fly across the sky on those great big wings. To the other side of the clouds. The reason why I decided to look up at the clouds impulsively like that might have been because of that girl I had just met. Forgetting about my silly fantasy, I go through the gate into the dormitory. Tori was in her wheelchair, with her back bent over, slowly creeping forwards. It was almost as though she was walking on tiptoes. What are you up to this time? I was quite used to her doing strange things, but I still hadn't acquired the ability to instantly determine what it was she was doing. She gave me a long stare. A cat? There it was, laying across the stone steps, licking and grooming itself. Then, on the other side, Hat was waiting. Are you trying a pincer attack? It didn't really look like that though. However, if they did, they might be able to... Interrupting my thoughts, Katori gave the signal. <laughs> Suddenly, Hat started flapping his wings and chasing the cat from behind. Surprised, the cat jumped up and ran in the opposite direction, where Katori was waiting to catch it. <laughs> There's no way that will work. The cat with brilliant footwork like Zidane's Marcial's turn evaded Katori and escaped. <laughs> you really were trying to pincer attack. <laughs> Katori realized I was looking at her and sulked quietly. What were you going to do once you caught the cat? It was as if she was saying, of course, but even if she caught a surprise cat as it was running away, it would go crazy and at worst scratch and cut her. Next time, make a better strategy. For example, you could try luring it towards you with a long piece of grass. She said as she earnestly wrote a memo. It looks like she always has a notebook tucked away in her wheelchair. She points at me. This is a sign that she has a bone to pick with me. Huh? I went for a walk. That's why I'm late. Her tone was like a mother scolding her child. I wonder if there's something I was supposed to have done. It's still only 5 o'clock though. Sorry. If I start at about 6, I usually finish in time. So, so, 
she said as she wrote another note. Do you mean that you were waiting for me? She must have gotten bored, which is why she decided to catch the cat. So, I don't know what sort of funny ideas you mean. Could you give me a few examples? I'll try teasing her a little. Okay, well then, say a little early, but shall we get started? Mapo eggplants and egg soup. Yeah, it's great. It's my specialty. As we go through the dormitory door, I realize that my feelings of uneasiness had vanished at some point. She tried to do a pincer attack with a duck to catch a cat, didn't she? Upon remembering that, I began to chuckle to myself. I realized that I'm strangely calm when she's with me. Then things start to feel weird again. Extend the little wings which fly in the sky highly. I think Aoi's starting to like uh, Katori. Amane was looking over the parts that I had brought her from every angle. She let out sounds of admiration. Is this okay? Whoa! She suddenly hugged me. Amane pushed her forehead onto mine and rubbed it around and round. Ek! Ah! Ouch! Hey, that hurts, Amane! Hurts, but it feels good because she is holding me tightly, and our foreheads are pressed together. Her ample chest pushes against me. Not only is she beautiful, but she's stylish too. They are bigger than they look, so I have no choice but to experience this. <laughs> So, so are you. You're just making up whatever you feel like. It's lunchtime, by the way. I brought the parts that Anchan gave me to the garage, but because the reaction was much more than I expected, I'm in a state of confusion. Tori, who I came here with, and Agaha, who had come along for some reason, are both staring at me with needles. After tearing Amane away from me, who was kind of like a big playful dog, I once again passed the parts to her. P please go ahead and use them. A friend of mine works in a factory that deals with the manufacture and processing of special parts. For this kind of thing, he should usually be able to make it for me. It seems that for this, Anchan looked at the engineering diagram and made something that was the same. <laughs> Mane took the parts over to the glider. Phew. That was a surprise. Amane senpai te kiko daitan na da ne. I 
やっぱ葵も男の子なんだね Don't say things like that about me. それにしてもなんであなたが一緒についてくるのよ私<笑>あまね先輩とお話ししてみたかったからそれになんだか面白そうだし Tori was being pretty snappy since just now. She might be annoyed because someone else found out about our secret place. Amane, like a kid given a birthday present, has immediately started working on installing the parts. It looks like the parts are used by the instruments in the cockpit. She diligently dismantles the older parts. Agaha, standing beside Amane, watches her work. これって、エンジンはついてないんですよね。どうやって飛ぶんですか？風に乗って飛ぶんだ。でも、まずは離陸しなきゃいけないですよね。ああ、それならいくつか方法があるが、これの場合、ウインチでタコのように引っ張って
あなたは確か鋼小鳥さんね While slightly surprised that she knew who she was, Katori continued to speak. I thought I saw veins appear on the vice president's temples as the two of them ranted on her. 先生方が部活動のあり方に過剰に口を差し挟むのは生徒会自治権への明らかな侵害この件についてはまさしくそれです部にしたくてもできないサークルもたくさんありますそのため部費も下りず活動拠点となる部室さえ満足に与えられない場合もある昨日も和太鼓研究会が練習場所の申請をしてきましたが却下せざるを得ませんでしたその時彼らが何と言ったかご存知ですか I'm going to end this video here everybody and find out in the next video what they said Everyone, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it so much. And, I, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.